Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool background like this. And this will probably work in, you know, anything. This is CS4. So I'm just going to make a new file. Have it 1280 by 1024 pixels. Hit OK. Uh, use your magical fill tool, which will probably be the one that says pattern with the bubbles. So that's only CS4, I think. And select foreground, switch this to that, and switch it back. It'll be black, then filter. Render lens flare, set it up to that. Bring it down to 90%. And hit OK. And you'll get that. Then you go up to filter, filter gallery. And you'll have all this stuff. Hit, click on Chrome. That's in the sketch file. Hit OK. Oh, and make sure the Chrome is set to zero and then five. So edit undo. I'll show you that again. Select Chrome zero five. Right there. So after you have that, uh, you got to go up to filter and then uh, distort wave and you know have it all default stuff and just keep hitting randomize until you get something really wavy like like that I guess I don't know. Uh, then you hold down control and hit U and have this click on colorize bring this up to 200 and then set this to 50 and you'll get a nice blue shade and after you have that make a copy of that layer that's control J or you can just you know figure that out yourself and then after that you have to go back up to filter and then yeah you can't just click on that again because it'll redo the thing you have to actually have to go to distort then wave and then randomize it again <clears throat> Hit OK. Then set the blending mode to screen. You'll get this nice glow thing. You can move that around with free transform as much as you want. Keep it like that. There. And uh, that's about it. I mean, there's other stuff you can do to it. Like, I could add a nice lens flare onto it. I new layer do this thing again you'll get a black screen uh, filter lens flare uh, bring it down to that one and just keep it there and bring it up to 100 percent yeah that's uh, 105 millimeter prime okay you get that nice shiny thingy Go up to free transform and make it really super small and thin like this. And then put it near the middle. And that'll be good. Hit enter. And control J, that'll copy this one. And then free transform. Uh, do that again, control J free transform now you're probably thinking wow this looks like shit well it doesn't control J one last time Free transform and then make it evened out in the middle. Because you people suck at Photoshop. You don't understand layers. So go down here and take your very first layer that you did this and set this to the magical thing called Lighten and it'll go below it. Do the same thing for these ones. There, now you got that, and it looks way awesomer. Um, 
You could also do this. I have this set here, free transform, and it'll look way, way better if you make it really big. Not really, really big, but bigger. There. There's your background. And that's it. Um, yeah. So, okay. It's been another Photoshop tutorial. By me.